Hey everyone and welcome to this video on creating reversing journal entries in NetSuite. In NetSuite journal entries can be used to not only record transactions but also reverse them. This is helpful for situations like recording accruals that need to be reversed later. So what is a reversing journal entry? A reversing journal entry is basically the opposite of the original entry. It undoes the effect of the original entry on your account. For example, let's say that you record an actuarial for revenue of $100. This debits account receivables and credits a revenue account. To reverse the accrual later, you'd create a reversing entry that credits accounts receivable for $100 and debits the revenue account for $100. Maybe re-listen to that part a bit slower if needed, uh, but that's uh, basically what uh, the reversing journal entry. So to create it in, uh, in NetSuite, you will go to Transactions, Financial, Make Journal Entry, List. And while this loads, please like this video and visit coleno.com. So now that we can see the journal entries, I will click on new transaction here. So now I'm on the form for a new journal entry. In the primary information section, you can accept the default entry number or enter a new one. Here you'll also find options for currency, subsidiary, uh, if using NetSuite One World and approval. In the date field, you can accept today's date or enter a new date for the journal entry. Now the key part for creating a reversal is to use the reversal date field. Here you would enter the date on which you want the reversing entry to be posted. Check the defer entry box if you want the reversal to be automatically created as a memorized transaction on the reversal date. Otherwise, leave it unchecked to enter the reversal transaction immediately. In the memo field, you enter a description to help you identify this entry later. Now we move to the line subtab, where you enter the details of the reversing entry. You select the account that was debited in the original entry and enter the credit amount for the reversal. You can add additional details like the location, the department, the schedule, uh, etc. Repeat that, uh, that step we just did for the account that was credited in the original entry entering the debit amount for the reversal this time. So once you do it for the credit and once for the debit. Once this is done you click add to add the line and you repeat as, uh, as needed for each line item. So just to show you how it works here I add for a subsidiary, I have a currency, exchange rate etc. Then I go for the lines and then I choose the account receivable, I put it as debit 100 add and now you need to make sure uh, that once the lines are entered the out of balance debit and credit are blank. If it doesn't balance out it wouldn't be blank so I'll show you here okay and you can see now you have a 50 difference because the debit was 150 and the credit was 100 that is wrong you do need to correct that so it balance out. When you're done, you click save on the page and then you're done. Just before you leave and after you have subscribed to this channel, remember that reversing entries are permanently linked to the original entry. Any changes to the original entry will also affect the reversal and you cannot directly edit a reversal journal entry. In addition, NetSuite provides options for attaching files, notes and other communications to your journal entry, so feel free to use them if needed. I hope this video explanation helps you understand and create reversing journal entries in NetSuite. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Bye-bye.